It's Christy Day of Lindy, and I'm here to teach you how to make some adorable bunny slippers. Let's open up our kit and see what's inside. Well, we have a needle felting needle to decorate the face. We have two resists to felt around that will be in a specific size. thread. So some cobbler's thread to sew your sole into place. And, but before you do that, you're going to need some cobbler glue. So the appropriate glue is in there for this type of soling and your belt. In the future, this sole will be available, but it's not started in making our slippers. Take out your resist and you're going to grab some of your wool. This wool kind of rolls all out like this. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your resist, you're going to lay it down here and then you're going to tear away at this pieces that are in excess of your resist. Okay? So you've got them like this. Now you're going to do several of these. You need two sides, one for the bottom and one for the top. I've already pre-done this. So here's one. That's two layers of white. Then I took this raw fiber that's not in batting and I laid it down crisscross. So I took some. I'm just making the video right now with what I have and my roving is not here yet so I grabbed some raw fiber in gray. Now what you want to do once you've got this is you want to kind of shake it back and forth gently with your hands. You're sort of agitating it and as you do that this before I ran out of space in my camera. As you do that, it will stick together. See? Uh, the Russian master that taught me calls this dry felting. It's just really, it's just barely agitating it together so it'll stay in place. All right? My clock. Once you've got all of these layers done, and again, they're pre-measured, so it's exactly how much you need. We'll go on to start belting. Okay, let's start felting. We're 
going to cover the template with a layer of wool and we're going to wet it down. I'm just using this sprayer. Other people have, you know, different sprayers. You can even use a mason jar filled with water and just sprinkle it on there. It doesn't have to be super fancy. I just really like my multi-sprayer thing. Now you're going to take your netting. If you don't have any netting, you need something that is nylon that won't stick to your hands because if you were to touch this wool while it was wet, it would just want to stick to you. Um, so we're just going to go like that. And I have soap here. This is a special soap that I have made for my shop. It's a beautiful olive oil soap made by a local soap artisan that is absolutely nailed the perfect, um, the perfect ratio of olive oil and um, gotten the right pH so that it doesn't slow down my felting. I bought this really expensive green olive oil soap from France and I found out that it radically slows down my felting process. I was like, why is this taking so long? And it, I remembered my felting teacher from Russia had mentioned that she never uses a high um, oil content soap because it, um, it makes the fibers so slippery that they don't grab onto each other and felt. So, but she wears gloves when she felts, and I really love the feeling of uh, fiber, um, wet fiber while I felt. So I didn't want to give that up. So I had um, my soap artisan make this soap for me. Okay, now I flipped my uh, resist. Now I've got this side uh, on the bottom of the of the bubble wrap. So I'm going to spray it. And I'm going to take this excess here that's past the resist and I'm going to just gently fold it onto the resist. And it sort of wants to stick onto the bubble wrap. And that's exactly what I want. Now here's the thing. When you're using this, um, this wool, it felt so well that the thing that you have to be careful of is to not over felt it because if you do, the consequential, you know, subsequent layers later will not stick to them and you'll have a mess that you're going to have to fix with needle felting or with your ruble or you know, it'll, it'll take a lot longer. So when you put this second layer on, just put your layer on and you're just gonna, I mean, you're just, did you see how little time I spent there? I spent really little time because the bulk of your, of your felting when you're making shoes should be when you're fulling, which is when you're rolling, rolling, rolling your fiber. Okay. This is the difference between master felters and beginning felters. And the Russian felters that make shoes, really strong shoes, and American felters who are making super puffy felted slippers. The Russians are not spending really any time in this stage. Whereas the American felters are taking all this time to layer their wool by hand, they're roving and they're, they're using merino and it's, it's not, it does not make a strong uh, felt. So trust me on this, I've made a lot of shoes now. This is the way to go. So you see my, my wool is already wet and I'm taking this layer and I'm folding it over. And it's just sort of sticking. If it starts to not want to stick, I put my net on here so my hands won't stick to it and I press it down. Okay. I am not spending a lot of time felting this because again, the wool that I use is already crisscrossed and it felt so fast that if I were to do that, the subsequent layers would not felt, would not stick. 
and would not felt. I would have like little pilly pocket things. So that's why I'm going like this. This one's a little, this one's a little funky shaped, isn't it? I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna pull off this little edge, stretch it out a little bit, and make sure it covers my my foot. Let's pull that off to the side. Okay, so I've got my curved over layer. Put on. I've got the bottom and the top, and it's sandwiched in between. Okay. And I'm putting on the second layer now. See how? And you know what? I've even seen people take their roller and just do an even, just pressing. All we're doing is pressing the water through the wool at this stage. We are not agitating a lot. We are not trying to felt it. We're just trying to get it to stick. And we're trying to get the water all the way through. The reason, and I'll add this soap, and the, I'm not trying to felt. I'm just trying to get the water to go through and saturate the wool. And because wool is so water resistant naturally, the soap is what helps it, the water get pushed through. Okay, that's all I'm doing. I am not felting. I'm not even pre-felting. I'm simply, see this is not sticking on here at all. It's, it's just, I'm just getting it all the way wet because if I did all these layers at once, <laughs> what would happen is the top would get wet and the bottom layers would stay dry and then you would not have a solid felt. So I'm just folding this edge excess over here. As it gets wet, it wants to stick. Doing that. This one's a little bit bulky, so I'm gonna have to hold it down with my net. Hit it with the water. And just touch it and it'll stick. Okay, get these other little sections over here. Fold them over. And they want to pop up, so I'm gonna stick them, get some water, some little bit of soap on there. A little more water, just making sure it's all wet. Okay. This is wanting to pop up again. I can see it. It's just not quite wanting to stick. I hold it down and then it wants to pop off, so a little bit of soap for this one. Get it fully wet. Okay. It's time for me to go pick up my baby at preschool. I'll be right back. Okay, that's the end of part one. If you like that video and it's find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't don't forget to subscribe. I've got lots of great instructional videos for you.